You see, the mood is palpable. You have the complete visibility of the thirst for change. There is a call coming from every nook and corner of the state for a viable change. And we are just working on this. We are just trying to respond to the calls of the people. Do I have to take permission from Mr. Conrad Sam? Do I have to take? Please tell him that he doesn't have to take permission from me as to where he should contest from. Nor do I. Okay. So that is the spirit of democracy we are utilizing optimally to really project and reflect the vibrant provision that's available in our constitutional provision. So you have been asked if you need both the seats, which seat will you keep it and which seat Why should I tell you now? Tell me one thing. Why should I tell you now? Isn't it? So it's between me and my beloved people. It's not between me and Mr. Conrad nor any third person. It's between me, my party <coughs> and my beloved people. It has also been said that the wheel card uh, program which has been launched by TMC is a political gimmick and people should not sway away with it. Now tell me what is the uh, best way of providing the so-called economic stimulus, which is so crucially required for the nation. You will recollect how when the money comes to the hands of the common man, what do they with the money? They increase their spending. So you have a complete circulation of money. That is what we call economic stimulus. You allow money to go to the hands of the common man, particularly the vulnerable group. How many hundreds of thousands of youth are longing for getting into the spaces of job opportunities. How many of them have been deprived by this incumbent government? These are concerns. Who will address them? Is it not the incumbent, invariably, the responsibility of the policy makers? Yes. Okay. We have our honors of responsibility towards people from all walks of life. People who should be allowed to realize their dreams through, their, through to their potentialities. You know, that's the responsibility. We are required to be able to respond to the call of our duty, which is in sync with the aspirations and expectations of the people. Well, the Chief Minister NPP is also attacking, saying that TMC is an outside party from the Bengal. What about NPP? Where is the headquarter of NPP? Are you aware of the origin of the NPP? So, what is he trying to do? Don't they have any other issue? Number one. And number two, I have repeatedly said, these are racial remarks. These are remarks which are supposed to be expected from uncivilized people. Civilized society do not make any reference which can be considered as racial. I condemn it. I pity his, that narrow-mindedness, that Bengali party outsider. What does he mean? This is, this is racial. He should apologize before the people. Well, sir. I am saying he should apologize to the people for being racial. Who is he? He is an incumbent chief minister. It's racial. I condemn it. I pity his, that narrow-mindedness, that Bengali party outsider. What does he mean? This is, this is racial. He should apologize before the people. Well, sir. I'm saying he should apologize to the people for being racial. Who is he? He is an incumbent chief minister. It's very, very unbecoming of a person who is holding a sovereign post. Okay. He must apologize. Sir, he is also saying that not many candidates from TMC are going to the NDP and they're joining the NDP and NDP. See, NDP let me let me let me cut it short because I have to hit the road <coughs> because thousands of people are waiting for me. You must have seen his rally yesterday. You ask him. You know, I am more bothered about the people, the pulse of the people, the desire of the people, the thirst of the people who are desperately waiting for the election to be over and see a new government. <laughs> Thank you.